Hey Google, are you tracking me? Your security comes first in everything Google does. It's important Google keeps your data private and safe and puts you in control. You can learn more at privacy.google.com. This is Google's Home Hub, an Alexa with a screen, and Google wants it to be the center of your smart home. It can do things like play YouTube clips, read out your schedule, give you updates on your commute to work, but it can only do that if you hand over your web and app history to Google. Here's how the hub was announced. You can easily find the perfect song, video, or artist. Hey Google, play something brand new. All right, here's some music on YouTube. And this is what happens when I ask the hub to play some music. Hey Google, play me something funky. To get help with that, you'll need to give me some more information. You can do that in the Google Home app. What's happening here is I've not updated the web history setting in my Google profile, and the hub is desperately trying to get me to hand over some information. And when I refuse to give it my information, it point blank refuses to play anything off Google Play Music or YouTube. You start up any web browser, go to any computer you want or a phone, open up the web browser, go to YouTube, you can play a clip. Nothing stops you. You might get an ad, but you're still gonna see the clip. But here, nada, nothing. And yet Google knows that I'm a paying YouTube music and Google Play Music customer, but it still refuses to play anything for me. On mobile devices, you can set permissions for stuff like camera, location services, access to storage, and well-built apps will gracefully degrade if it doesn't have access to that information. If you don't want personalized recommendations or Google knowing exactly where you've been everywhere on the web in a Chrome browser, the Home Hub is akin to a Chromecast with a screen and a microphone. With Google, it's all or nothing. And in this case, I'll take the nothing. 